Yeah, my name's Spencer Watts. Uh, I was born in Portsmouth. I rode motorbikes from the age of nine. Um, and then I was uh, practicing one Wednesday and went over a jump and uh, didn't land it right. Uh, I took the wrong line into the jump and that's how I am now, really. I um, Obviously, the paramedics took me to the hospital and <laughs> I was um, told that I um, I'd need a lot of surgery on my back, so I was in um, theatre for 14 and a half hours. Um, that was my uh, first operation, and I had another one um, to extend the rods on my back so that they wasn't happy with the work they did. Uh, which th that took another, that took about 17 hours. That operation that was including the time I was in recovery. Um, after after that, the surgeon obviously wasn't 100% sure what his next steps were going to be. He was not sure whether he was going to keep me at the hospital or if he was going to move me to Salisbury District Hospital, which is a spinal rehabilitation unit. Um, they decided to move me there after my 16th birthday. Um, and uh, I was there till November, which they uh, basically rehabilit rehabilitated me to what I, what they could, you know, what they could help with the best, everything like, uh, just general day-to-day -day life and um, they uh, told me that um, I'm going to be wheelchair bound for the rest of my life. Uh, I'm a T10 paraplegic um, which basically means I'm paralyzed from the waist down. I have no movement or feeling from the waist down. Um, he, he told me that um, you know it was, a, it was quite a big thing to take on and um, he said that I obviously never walk again and um, you know never do with what I was doing before and I would be, it wouldn't be possible for me to ride again um, and I, I just said to him that eventually I will be able to, I don't know when or whereabouts but I will be able to do it and I uh, started back in September 2013, uh, I had a bike all adapted from uh, local firms, uh, had a frame give, uh, donated to me by um, Cap Engineering, uh, I've had um, it's a Connectrix electrical company in Wellington. Uh, it uh, gave me a lot of money towards my recourse clutch, my back brake, and a lot of other things. Then I had the bike adapted. It was quite a nervous thing. I didn't know how my balance was going to be on the bike. I uh, think that my back, obviously my, my back was affected, so I didn't know how, if I was going to get any pain with my back, uh, which luckily enough, when I got on it for the first time, it was absolutely fine, and I haven't had any problems with it. When I originally got on the bike, I didn't really know um, what the corner and corners were like because obviously you usually lean the bike right over and put your leg out, which obviously I couldn't do. So that's quite a still something that I'm learning now. Really, it's corners, corner speed. That's something that obviously I'm going to struggle with. Obviously, I can't stand up, so jumps and everything like that. Um, it's just seat bouncing all the jumps, which is a, a, a totally different. It's really weird. I get to a corner and I just want to put my leg out, but I obviously can't. Falling off is quite a big thing. Um, I have to literally just lay there in the track and um, shout for help, really, unless anyone sees me. Everyone comes running over to me. Uh, good old friends, you know, if it weren't for them, I wouldn't I'd be still laid on the floor now. So. <laughs> Thank you.
I always look at it as if there's always someone worse off than you. Um, you know, I was in Salisbury Hospital with people paralysed from their neck down. They could just literally move their neck like that, and that was all they could do. Um, I don't know how I'd cope with that. Um, but yeah, and I'm, I'm, I just say to everyone out there that you just got to get on with it. You know, look at it as if, take each day as it comes, and you know, you just never know what's around the corner. You know, you could walk out in front of a bus and get run over. It's not just because of motorbikes. It could be anything. You know. Um, but yeah, just like I say, never give up, um, be determined and yeah, just crack on with life really.